Northeast Ohio is once again playing host to the heavyweight champion of the world. For more on that now, let's take you over to sports director Nev Chandler. Neville? All right, Roy. Orwell, Ohio is the boxing capital of the world these days. The boxing complex of promoter Don King has become a home away from home for heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. Iron Mike is back in our area to train for his next bout, which is July 21st in Atlantic City against Carl the Truth Williams. Mike and Don King, the ace promoter, join us live now from their boxing complex in Orwell. Gentlemen, welcome. Uh, did you have a chance to see the big fight last night? Well, Mike, I don't know. Did you see it? Yeah. I, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> and your reaction, both Don and Mike. Go ahead, Don. Okay, well, I thought it was a good fight uh, between two old guys. You could really see that they were tiring and that if they had been younger, either one could have taken the other one out. I think it was a fair decision in the draw. Many people think that Hearns won the fight because he knocked him down. However, I think that it would have been a standing eight count or uh, when he had Hearns completely out, he's just holding on to him. So it just shows that these two guys are really, you know, gave it their best. Well, Don, of course, uh, no one is better at promoting fights than you. Do you look for uh, round three or match number three between these two now? Not really. I think that uh, the public is not going to be demanding it, but I think they would come to see it if they put it together. How about Mike? How does Iron Mike feel about things? Uh, Mike, your impression of what happened last night? Well, I, I really believe um, the two fighters were at the twilight of their, their career, and they put on, I believe, the last performance that they can. And when you think about it, there are two fighters that use their styles, um, which they employed very well to the best of their ability. Hearns with the lightning left hand and the murderous right hand, and Leonard with the lightning fast combinations and the looseness and the great, great championship heart that he has came back from the brink of destruction. Mike, did you think that Hearns deserved the decision in the fight uh, from what you could tell? Well, I respect both men dearly and I'm friendly with both of them. So I don't want to judge any opinion right now, <laughs> but I'm happy what happened because a, a draw didn't hurt any one of them. Spoken like a true diplomat, uh, no <laughs> doubt about that. Uh, Mike, you're now training for your July 21st bout with Carl the Truth Williams. Uh, how tough a fight is that likely to be? Everybody thinks that uh, no one can challenge Mike Tyson right now. You could take anybody out uh, just about at any time you wanted to. Well, you can't say that now because these guys, like Muhammad Ali, like Joe Lewis, these guys, when you fight the heavyweight champion of the world, they rise to the occasion. You know what I mean? They fight better. Guys like Chuck Webner, um, Max Bear, Buddy Bear, these guys for Joe Lewis or Muhammad Ali, they rise to the occasion and fought extremely well. Mike, uh, So I don't take anyone for granted. Absolutely. You can't do that in the fight game, that's for sure, especially when they point for you. Uh, we hear that uh, perhaps you're going to make your permanent home in Cleveland, that you've purchased a, a residence uh, around town. Can you uh, confirm uh, stories to that effect? Well, I did purchase a, um, a beautiful home. As you should see, it's in Sutherland. And perhaps when it's finished, I invite you over and we'll have a little party or something. I'll but take you up you on know, it. Yeah, that sounds nice. <laughs> but as you know, I have homes all over the country. And I like, I like um, Ohio very well. So this would not be necessarily a permanent residence for you, but you have established uh, a form of residency here in Northeast Ohio. Is that right? Well, it's my best house. I like it the best. <laughs> Sounds like we could have a pretty good party there. Uh, Don, uh, your viewpoint on the upcoming fight with uh, the truth, Carl Williams, uh, could it be a pretty good battle? It certainly will be a good battle. Uh, it's always, you know, everybody going to rise to the occasion to challenge uh, Mike Tyson. You know, and so this is something in the boxing game that always goes according to Hoyle. A guy, yesterday's nobody is tomorrow somebody. So Carl the Truth Williams will be in there trying to dethrone the undefeated, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. So that's going to prove to be a good fight. And we got a net, we got a good one here in Cleveland. We're going to have a little fight out there at the IAC Center on the 30th of June. And we have Pedro Sanchez and Winchester fighting. And we're going to have a press wow, conference tomorrow. Sanchez? Yeah, Sanchez, he's wow, good, man. man. Yeah, well, he's going to be a ready. So, let Mike step in the time. ring and uh, just spar for a couple of rounds, and he can give us a preview out there, Don. How would that be? 
Hey, why don't I spar you for a couple of rounds? I wouldn't last for a couple of seconds. Hey, but it'd be fun. Come on, you should try it. I'm sure you find it very stimulating. And you've Nib, only... and Nib is a great guy, too. You've only got me sure. by 100 pounds, champ. That's all. Only 100 well, pounds. Well, we can play. I like you. It's, I'll tell you what, it'd be like Foreman against you in Beijing. I mean, uh, we hear that that could happen. What about that? Any possibility of uh, you and Foreman in Beijing, China? Well, as you know, they're having a great crisis over there, and I'm not um, associated with anything in the, involved with communism. So I think that's, I'm going to take a rain check on that. Any chance you would fight Foreman uh, someplace else, though, Mike? Could that possibly happen in a year or so? Well, I can tell you this. I can answer it like this. There's about 4.9 billion, give or take a couple of hundred million, and I could believe I could beat every one of them on this planet. <laughs> okay, so that takes care of that issue uh, right away. Uh, Mike, it seems like you, you've been able to settle down a little bit from uh, some of the personal turmoil. Uh, is your life a little more serene now where you can concentrate on boxing only? Well, answering that, it's just like um, life in general is filled with a bunch of adversity. And like I was explaining to someone earlier, anyone can win a championship match, anyone could win a world basketball championship, anybody could win the Grand Slam, but it's the people that can come back from the brink of destruction and almost down and out when your manhood, your pride, everything is almost stripped and come back and conquer at the top of your game. Now that's the separation between a, a super champion and just an average champion. Well, you are indeed a, a super champion, Mike Tyson. We no appreciate question. you taking time to join us this afternoon on Live on Five, both you and promoter Don King. Gentlemen, we'll be out to see you uh, there in Orwell, and maybe I'll step in the ring for about oh, two Nav, seconds, Nav, and that'll be it. Hey, Nav, you got to come, Saturday, man. Saturday, you gotta come. Tuesday. Saturday will be Tuesday. Saturday. Right. Yeah, and we have an all, a whole bunch of kids come up here. We're going to have cake, ice cream, and I'm letting everyone know, bring your kids up here. And all my friends in Cleveland, bring their kids in Euclid. Everyone comes up here in Garfield Heights. And bring your kids up here to Orwell, and I'm sure they're going to have a time they won't forget in a long time. Champ, and that'll be the time for you, Nev, to get in right. the ring. Cake and you ice cream. You can get in the ring then, Nev. <laughs> cake oh, and Nav, ice I'm cream. I'm going to kick you all you know what. I'll tell you what. I'm ready. I'm ready. Roy and Norman, we'll see you Saturday. I'm ready. I'm ready we'll for see Saturday. You Saturday. I'll take on the champ. I'm ready. I'm ready for Don. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> no chance is right. And that's the last chance we have. Gentlemen, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, Mike. See you on Saturday. All right. There you Children's go. Children's Day. I'll tell you what. That'd be a heck of a Father's Day gift, wouldn't it? A, a kiss in the, right in the old puncher there. Nev, I'm going to go out and buy your trunks uh, and your shoes tonight. You prefer red or black? I like stripes, like sugar stripes, stripes. <laughs> You know, Nev, the thought of it is making you glow. Well, I'll tell you what. Fear not, glow. my friend. That's sweat. That's, That's sweat. right. <laughs> you got that right. Okay. All right. Thanks, Nev. Okay. The West Germans and Soviets are making promises today, promises to cut nuclear weapons. That story when we come back. And then former President Reagan is among those praising Soviet leader Gorbachev. We'll tell you why when Eyewitness News returns live on 5. Accommodations for guests of Live on 5 are provided by the Stouffer Tower City Plaza Hotel.